Greetings, literature lovers. Let's continue from what we left yesterday about the Great American Revolution. Articles of Confederation were created by the Second Continental Congress to create a permanent government adopted in 1777 and ratified in 1781. And the first constitution in U.S. history then France became a U.S. ally and because of the revenge on British, because they were defeated, so you know, secret supply to Americans was there and the Declaration of Independence and Saratoga were turning points for France aid. Now, Franco-American alliance of 1778, France promised to recognize U.S. independence and gave U.S critical financial and military support. The revolution became a world war and Spain and Netherlands entered the war against Britain in 1779 and an American war becomes secondary for Britain. So that's the reason why things become complicated. The war in the West and then naval battles, clashes in the West lasted most of the war and Amerindian allies of the Britain, British attacked U.S. frontier positions. Iraqus John Monster Brandt, that's important name. Now, Eleanor's country was George Rogers Clark. Next, talking about the American Navy, includes the John Paul Johns and damaged British merchant shipping, privateers, and then the major naval battles between British, France, Spain, and the Dutch forces. Britain was forced to protect its empire, including India. No? It was all included. So that's the reason the South and the end of the war. And after failing in the mid-Atlantic states, Britain then focused on the South and the Chesterton as he fell in 1778, sorry, 1780. The Italian Green drove British troops out of Georgia and South Carolina and Convalis abandoned Southern strategy and fell back to Yorktown on the Chesapeake Bay and then comes Battle of Yorktown, 1781. Lord Convalis surrendered to Washington. Rocambeau and D. Grassi. You can see pictures are quite revealing. That's the whole scenario how wars were there. That is the painting of surrender of Lord Convillus John Trumbull, 1820. Surrender of Yorktown. You can see how it was. Next comes the peace at Paris. 1783 and British ready to come to terms and heavy setbacks in India, West Indies and Mediterranean and Lord North's ministry collapsed in March 1782 and Whigs back in control. Now friends attempted to weaken US, sought to keep US borders east at Appalachians. The Americans turned to Brit Great Britain and Treaty of Paris 1783 was signed and British formally recognized U.S. independence and granted generous boundaries. You can see how it was. And then American concessions and loyalties could not be further prosecuted. Loyalist property was to be restored and then U.S. states were bound to pay British creditors for past debt and U.S. ignored these prevences altogether. That's all for today. Thanks for being part of it.